Arnold Perkins is an icon in this community. Arnold has had a tremendous impact in the field of health among young people. He's been an extraordinary force in this community. He was a human rights activist, civil rights activist. I remember when I first met him, there was a youth advisory board. I just remember like the anticipation, like, oh man, this, this dude who used to work with SNCC and he'd done all this other wild stuff. He finally comes and he sits down and he's so cool. He's not your, your talk proper, pull your pants up type dude. You know, he takes you as you are and meets you where you're at and, and helps you get to a spot where you can really just do something. Every time I come in the building, I just get so excited because I remember where we were. We are no longer a mom and pop operation. So Arnold has been about going to the next generation, providing the training, the inspiration, all the necessary tools to allow them to take their rightful role as the next level of leadership. And we dreamed it and we did it and we're here now. And how do I humble myself to learn from young people? You know, as opposed to I know it all. That's, that's, that's the, the thing, the key. Like, that's where the respect comes from. Once the individual humbles themselves and lets, lets go of their ego, and they can, they can really just have a conversation cross generation or cross race or cross gender, mm -hmm. whatever. You have to humble yourself first and then find that respect for that person. I see communities as a collection of people who want to move in a unified direction. Now, it doesn't happen all at once. It happens over time. That we build community by allowing people the opportunity to come together to coalesce together, to be together, to think together, to cry together, to laugh together. My life is community. My work is community. Here we go. You're listening to youthradio.org once again. If you want to hear more of this. When we said, oh, well, we found this building. It's going to take a lot of renovation. Maybe we should cut corners here and there. Arnold would say, no, it's got to be the best for, for Oakland's young people. It has to be top of the line, state of the art. And look, look where, where we are, are now. now. It's because Arnold insisting on excellence. I think that's just representative of how he walks through life every day. If you want to connect with somebody, you actually have to live that example, live what you talk about, live what you, what you, who you are on paper. You can't just be a, a, a mythical person on paper. You actually have to have that posture about you, you have to have that aura around you, you know? And 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 Bob Perkins, I'm telling you, when he comes in a room, it's like, you know, it, it lights up. 